On today's video, we're going to show you guys how to install our new Oldham couplers for Creality printers. So in front of me, I have the stock Creality bracket with a lead screw off the printer just so I can show you guys easier how to install these. I have my Oldham coupler here with its three parts. We also have the four screws included with the coupler. I'm going to go over installing the Oldham coupler with the stock lead screw nut as well as switching over to our anti-backlash nut in conjunction with the Oldham coupler. So you're going to first start by taking out the two screws in the top here and removing your lead screw. Go ahead and take a number two Allen key and unscrew the factory screws. So take the lead screw nut and the bottom of the old hand coupler and place them like this with the part of the lead screw nut going up into the bottom of the old hand coupler. We're going to take two of the included screws and put them through this old hand coupler into the lead screw nut. When you put the screw in, make sure that these are flush. Tighten it down. Do the other side. When we put the old ham coupler together, it is recommended that you go ahead and lubricate the parts that contact the other brass fittings. You can use any sort of lubricant. We're going to use white lithium grease for this. Go ahead and slide the other piece on. We'll wipe off the excess grease and go ahead and lubricate the inner channel here. Now take the other part of the old hand coupler and slide it into the assembly we just made. And now we're going to screw this onto the bracket just like this. Make sure to get the hole centered here in the bracket before you tighten these down fully. At this point our coupler is now installed. Go ahead and put your lead screw rod back through. As you can see here, our lead screw can now float and move. Now, if you're going to be using the old ham coupler with our anti-backlash nut, the installation is basically the same. The difference is that we'll install this piece of the anti-backlash nut instead of the stock one. So I'm going to go ahead and slide this out, and we're just going to take the stock one off. Now when you attach the anti-backlash nut piece to the old ham coupler, make sure the notch part is away from the old ham coupler. So we're going to do the same thing we did with the factory one. So we have the anti-backlash nut portion onto the old ham coupler. Go ahead and put it on just like we did the other one. We're going to go ahead and thread the lead screw in. Put the spring on along with the other brass piece and we're going to install the backlash nut like we would if we didn't have the old ham coupler. See the teeth are meshing here? I'll go ahead and thread my lead screw through. And just like that, the anti-backlash nut and the old ham coupler are installed together. So as you can see, installing the coupler is pretty easy, and it also goes really well with our anti-backlash nuts. If you guys want to go ahead and pick up one of these for your Creality printer, you can go ahead and click the link in the video description. I put a link down there for the Oldham coupler and our anti-backlash nuts. If you guys have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them down below, or go ahead and click the Contact Us link on our website. That's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed watching, and as always, happy printing.